Hi, welcome to Max8 tutorial number 8, presentation mode 2, enhancements for the fancy pants. Alright, well, sorry about that lousy rhyme, but I'm so excited by this timer that we made last time around. Let's just start it for fun. Here we go. Uh, 10 seconds, that shouldn't be too long to wait. Um, we're almost there. And it's not going to take us too much longer than that. There it is. It has finished. There, there was a great 10 seconds. Okay, so let's talk about how we actually turn this into a graphic user interface. Um, first things first, let's just save our file right now and do this really crazy thing. Let's just close it. Okay, goodbye. And now let's open it again. Uh, you can go right to here, click on File, and say Open Recent Patcher. Whoop. And there it is. And it opens just like that. And if we click Presentation again, it goes to that. But that's not really what we want, is it? So we're going to learn about the Patcher Inspector first. And that is when you unlock your Patcher and uh, you can take it out of presentation mode too. But um, click on the inspector and click on nothing. Just click on the background. And then if you come all the way up over here, you see this P in a diamond shape. And if you click on it, it's an inspector. But what is it inspecting if we haven't clicked on anything? What it's inspecting is the entire patcher. So if we do anything in here, it's going to affect the entire patcher. And one of the things that we want to do um, is when you open this, imagine you were giving this um, patcher to a, a friend or, or putting it online or heaven forbid selling it. Um, so we're going to come down here, and this is for the whole patcher. And look, open in presentation mode. All right, we want to do that. And then um, another thing that we can do is, uh, this says uh, last saved, but um, we can either have these things here or not. So. Um, we're going to just scrub this for now, and I'll, I'll show you that later because we have to actually use the tools, so I don't want to get rid of them yet. But now that we have this here, click back into your patcher. Oh, let's do something else as long as we're here. There's colors up here. Wouldn't it be funny if um, your entire patcher was... Um, I'm just looking for it here. Uh... It doesn't, there, locked patcher background color. There it is. Let's just make it orange. Orange. Orange, I say. Orange ish. Mm hmm. There we go. A little more orangey. A little more orangey. A little more. Okay, that, that's the color orange I want. Um, and we'll just leave it like that so that when we come back over here, and click in the in the nowhere uh, just to be back here now if you lock your patcher it turns orange is that not cool and now we'll go to presentation mode and look at that so one can sort of imagine if we close the inspector and we make our window much smaller that that could kind of be a cute patcher there. Let's save it. And now let's close it. Goodbye. And let's reopen it. Open your recent patcher. There it is. And look at that. It opened up right where it was before. That's really cool. But if you want this part of it to be consistent, there is actually a thing you can do to adjust that. 
put it where you want it and let's just say now we decided that we always want it to open in the middle of the screen um, you can click on view up here and then come down and say define fixed initial window location there it is we save our patcher and instead of closing it just to do a test now we're going to put it over here and then close it goodbye and now we'll open it again open our recent patcher whammo right in the middle now it's getting good so now we could go back and say in our view that we don't want to see the toolbar anymore right hey now look how small that thing is and we could save it now we put it away and now we just open it again open recent patcher there it is hey it came up with the toolbar again that's because we have to do this unfortunately in the inspector and I didn't want to lose the toolbars last time uh, when you get rid of the toolbars you have to kind of go through a little bit of work to get them back so let's scroll down here and see what the things are when you open so there it is view so do you want to see the top the bottom toolbar on open uh, I think unpin is the proper thing um, and we'll just unpin the right toolbar unpin the left toolbar top toolbar and now we'll save that oh, click over here I always uh, try to get out of there before I save it okay and put this thing away and reopen it ta-da look at that every time it opens it's just gonna look like uh, this little thing here now um, you can still get at your toolbars there they are <laughs> oh my god that's so cute um, not sure how you uh, and, and you can actually make this bigger and then have them move off to the side so you can still get at them that's what it means when they're unpinned you can also I believe whoops don't do that I believe you could um, just have them not show up so they're unpinned now and we can also make them so that enable scroll we're not even going to allow the horizontal toolbar we're not going to show the toolbar on open we're not going to show vertical scrolling um, and that should do that and now you'll see oops I hit the wrong thing sorry uh, c c command I there we go and we're just going to save and put this thing away and open it again okay one last thing um, so there it is and it looks great all cleaned up and stuff but it always comes up with 10 seconds on and let's just do a quick test here I'm gonna set it to 30 seconds and um, I'll even save it and close it and reopen it again and it says 10 seconds so I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to preserve certain settings that you might want uh, your application to open on so let's make this big again and of course we don't have toolbars but uh, we'll see if we can live with that for the moment so we're unlocking it taking it out of presentation mode um, by I guess that's unfair of me to do um, if you don't have a way to take it out of presentation mode because you don't have a toolbar well um, you might need the toolbar back which you can do by pressing command I or I think control I on a PC and let's say we show that toolbar on open 
and show the other two as well. Why not do them all at the same time? Okay, save and close it and open it again so that we can see it. And there it is. Whoop, see, our toolbars are back. See, it's a good idea not to get rid of them unless you know you want to get rid of them. Okay. Okay, inspector. There you go. And now we can take it out of presentation mode and we can unlock it and go back to what we were talking about before, which is how on earth do you get this to preserve whatever setting this is on? Well, I'm going to tell you very quickly. I'm just going to lock this real quick. Notice that when you hit 10 seconds or 30 seconds, now you it puts out a 1. And for 10 seconds, puts out a 0. And for this, it puts out a 2. Okay. Fantastic. Um, message boxes preserve their data when you shut them off. Number boxes do not. They just set back to zero. Um, so knowing that this will always be here, we could um, run a patch cord from here to the top of the U menu, right? Now, if I was to lock this, I, I hate that messy cord. Just a second. Command Y. There we go. Um, Right now, because the U menu told it was told it told the message that it was set on number two, and if we were to lock this and press number two, it wouldn't do anything because it's already set on number two. But when it opens, that number two will mean something if this has gone back to being set on one or zero. Does that make any sense? Um, so if we just had an object that could bang this when it opens we could preserve this setting. Well, it just so happens there's an object, type the letter N and type load bang. So what does load bang do? Every time your patcher opens, it sends out a bang as soon as it opens. That's all it does. Good for nothing but that. So now, every time our patcher opens, it will go back to the last state of this, and of course this will then change the um, our setting, our colors, and all that to the right thing, and our count to the right thing. It'll be great! So let's save it, and we can just close it because we know the whole thing's going to open in... Um, we know it's going to open in presentation mode. Wait! Before we do... It is our chance to get rid of those silly toolbars again, now that we don't need them again. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And of course we have our fingers crossed that this will work. We go back to that, we say save, we put it away, and we open it again. One more time. Did we do it right? We did it right. Look! Perfect cup and we could even say soft-boiled egg. Well, let's go... Mm, we could say soft-boiled egg and see if it works when we reopen it. Okay. I'm closing you. I Notice I didn't save, though. Open it again. Perfect cup of tea. See? If you don't save it, it doesn't do it. Soft-boiled egg. Now we're going to hit save, and then we'll put it away. And if we open that again, it does, in fact, preserve our, our selection. So there you have it. You can do it. Um, so there you go, 10 seconds. In our last 10 seconds, I would just like to congratulate you all on working so hard today to make your very first graphic user interface. Thanks a lot. Patch well. Bing, bing, bing. Bye-bye.